Hello friends of the Northern Entertainment and welcome to an unboxing video that I have been waiting for for almost a year. Thank you avworld.ca for finally getting me this uh, wonderful... Oh, apparently my gimbal works. It's definitely following me. I have no idea if you guys can even see the the most important part that is like right here. So here you can see it is the Bravo Throttle Quadrant from Honeycomb. Um, well, let's get this out of its box. It is number 227 of the series. So, yeah, I have been waiting for this for quite a while. I have honestly, this whole unboxing video might be completely shot because my gimbal looks to me like it's focusing more on my face than anything else where I really wanted it to focus on this. But So the reason I wanted to make this unboxing video with you guys is because I know there's still to this day, even though I'm not making nearly as much content anymore as I used to because of my job, um, but I know there's still a lot of you guys that kind of wait always with getting something until I get it. And so we're gonna do a proper unboxing. So, oh look, here's, so here is, wow, look at, look at the quality of the packaging alone. This is, this is dense closed cell foam that's holding all this in place. And then we have here commercial, so I'm assuming, oh yeah, here look. So those are flap, uh, flap lever, speed brake, four engines, and not to forget a uh, reverser, comes all with this. I'm kind of curious, I probably have to use two, oh, 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 okay, so if you run a double engine setup, then you can turn this around this one here and look if it's like this it's two if it's like that it's three so you uh, you can run see because it makes sense because this way right now it would be one and three and if you turn it around it's one and two so that is they have really thought about everything and this is nice with a magnetic um, with a magnetic clasp here which I honestly, I will use these to store the uh, the, upper, uh, the, the uh, different uh, levers and all that if I don't need them. So what do we have here? This is, oh, there's a go around button on there. So this is for your GA, two engine aircraft, advanced, um, prop control, and of course mixture, times two. So you have that. And again, look at this, really, <laughs> really beautiful, uh, really beautifully packed. Oh, and here's of course the main event, the main event. It's not super heavy, it's maybe, well, let's let it be 10 pounds, possibly, if that. And there we have it. You have here a whole host of switches that you can put landing lights, beacons, and so on and so forth. If of course you have the alpha throttle quadrant, uh, then you don't have to worry about that either because you have already a whole host of um, switches that you can use there. I do not have that. I am using, as of right now, I am using, um, I am using a Yoko the Yoke as Yoke, but if Honeycomb sees this and decides that hey, he is a cool dude and we would like to send him something and they want to send me a Alpha uh, Yoke, then I'm I'm not gonna I'm not gonna object. <laughs> um, but all kidding aside, I'm probably gonna end up getting eventually. Oh, look at this! This is uh, trim. That is awesome. Here's a flaps, uh, flaps lever or lever. 
there is uh, landing gear up and down. Then we have heading nav, approach, uh, rev, alt, um, vertical speed, indicated airspeed. And it's a little bit different. I'm gonna make a different video how to set this all up. Um, oh, okay, now is where the the sleazy 70s music is starting. Look here. Ooh, yeah. Well, you can see it here. This is where you can uh, you can adjust the resistance for your sink for your uh, for all the levers. And then, of course, as it is always the case, and I've seen that before, the uh, Bravo throttle uses the same the same mounting system as the Alpha yoke uses. So essentially this is how you mount it. Who really thought about yeah what do you need? What do you need in a uh, in a throttle quadrant that gives you everything that you can possibly need or want. Simple signal uh, Complicate or complex single, si uh, simple, um, no, nah, uh, multi-engine, complicated multi-engine, and or advanced multi-engine, and then of course you can, as easy as just this. See, look, you can just remove these, and then we take general aviation, for example, and just slide those. Slide those over here like that and that and you have an actual detent here. You have flight and then you have a detent where you go into the beta range or into, uh, into reverse. So that is really, really awesome. That being said, as I said, I'm going to make a full uh, review once I have this for a little while and uh, I'm also going to make a video how to set this up to work with Flight Simulator because there's a couple of things that you have to um, yeah. I love how I can do this and the gimbal is just following me finally I can use this um, but yeah that being said guys um, that's the unboxing video I hope you enjoyed this again it's a great product um, yeah if you don't have it yet then I strongly suggest you get one because this is, you can tell that the, the designers at Honeycomb, they have thought of every little detail in this. I absolutely love this thing already. So that being said, thank you so much for watching guys. Have a great day.